Yoga Club Spring is here and that means flowers, chicks, bunnies, lambs and egg hunts for some too. Well that's what we're doing in our first yoga adventure today which I hope you have fun with. Just mind out for those tickly monkeys. I'll see you after for some shout outs. everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. All you've got to do is copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, Two, three, namaste. There, now we're ready to begin. So let's look through the cosminoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. <gasps> oh, look at that, those colours, those shapes. Oh, spinning around and around. Can you see it? Yes, it's a rabbit. It's Peter Cottontail, the Easter Bunny. Hello, Peter Cottontail. Oh, what's Peter doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing butterfly pose. This is very exciting. We're going to see Peter Cottontail, the Easter Bunny. And with Easter coming very, very soon, he's going to be very busy at the moment, so maybe we can help him. Let's get ready for our adventure by bringing out the sunshine. We stand up, we reach our arms to the sky, and we say, hello, sun, ready? Hello, sun. Then we fold all the way forwards, and we say hello to the daffodils. Hello, daffodils. We step one leg all the way back behind us and we drop down to our back knee. Then we lift ourselves up, try not to wobble. We wrap our arms around and we go cheep, 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 like little yellow chicks. Very good. We bring our hands all the way down and we step our other leg back, coming down onto our bellies. Then we wiggle, 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 wiggle up like a very hungry caterpillar. We tuck our toes, lift our hips up to the sky and we wiggle waggle our little bunny tails. Then we step our other leg forward and we drop down to our back knee again. We come on up trying not to wobble. We wrap our arms and we go cheep, 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 cheep like a little yellow chick again. We take our hands down to our front foot and we step all the way forwards again to say hello to the daffodils. Hello, daffodils! Then we reach up to the springtime sun and we say, hello, sun! Now, coming down to our knees, we roll our shoulders around and around. We lift them up and put them down. We lift up one, we lift up two, we put down one, we put down two. We go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Very good, everyone. Now we roll our head around in a big circle one way and a big circle the other way, getting our necks all nice and ready. We sit back on our bottoms, bring our hands behind us to help us balance. We lift up one foot and we go round and round in a circle with our ankle. Oh, can we do the other one as well? We can. Now here's a challenge. Can we do one hand as well? You can. What about the other one? All four. Well done, everyone. That's brilliant. Now, crossing our legs. Before we go, let's have some good breakfast. Let's have some porridge. We reach up high for the pot and we fold all the way forwards, keeping our bottoms on the ground to put our pot in front of us. 
Then we come up and sit up tall. We bring one hand across to our opposite knee and we twist behind us to get our porridge oats. Here we go. We shake them into the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Then we take our other hand across to our opposite knee and we twist the other way round to get our water. Here it is. We bring it to the front and we pour it in. Shh. Lovely. Now for the stirring. We take our legs out nice and wide and we take hold of one of our stirring spoons and we stir it up. Very nice. Oh, it's getting thicker. Let's try with the other one now. Take that spoon down and lift up the other one. Stirring it up. Very good. It's ready. Putting your foot all the way down, we cross our legs, fold forwards, and we eat up all of our porridge. Um, 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 um. Mm, it's delicious. We rub a hand on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time. Very good, everybody. Now it's time to go and meet Peter Cottontail. Let's go out the door. Coming to two knees, take your leg to the side and your arm up to the sky. And we go, ooh, to open up the door. Now we need to go through the gate, bringing your knees back together again. Take your leg to the other side, your arm up to the sky and open up the gate. Ooh, now. We need to tiptoe down to the bottom of the garden so we don't scare Peter Cottontail. Shh, 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 shh. <gasps> Look, here he is, waiting for us. It's Peter Cottontail. Come down to your knees and crisscross your fingers behind your back. As you fold on forwards, lift your arms up above your head like two lovely bunny ears. Peter Cottontail is so excited to see us, he does a couple of bunny hops. Coming all the way up, put your hands down in front of you and tuck your toes. Lift up your bunny tail and go hoppity hoppity hop. And again, hoppity hoppity hop. Wow, we're going to go and help Peter Cottontail, the Easter bunny, collect lots and lots of Easter eggs for everyone at Easter. Let's grab a basket. Coming down onto your tummies, we bring our feet towards our bottom and we reach around, grabbing our ankles. Then we lift ourselves up, smelling the flowers. <sighs> ah, lovely. Now, time to get on our bicycles. We lower our legs and come back up to sit and take ourselves all the way down onto our backs. We crisscross our fingers and put them behind our heads and lift up our legs. And we start to use our feet to do the pedals. We're going to have to collect lots and lots of eggs so that Peter Cottontail, the Easter Bunny, has plenty for everyone. Look, we've arrived in the woods. Coming up to stand, we need to see where to go first to go and collect some eggs. So let's climb a tree. Here we go. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Oh, is this high enough? Let's see. Bringing one foot on top of the other and your hands together at your heart. Grow your tree up nice and tall. Oh, now hang on a minute. Are you a strong tree today? Do you think I can blow you down? Mm, I think I can. Let me try. You stay tall and strong. I'll have a go. Here I come. Doopy doopy do do. <laughs> I don't believe it. You're still standing up. You are super duper strong. Let's climb a bit higher and see how we do up there. Ready? Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Let's try our tree on the other side now, bringing your other foot on top, your hands together and grow up nice and tall. Oh, try not to wobble. Now I wonder if you can make your fingers into binoculars, joining your thumbs and fingers together. Have a look through. Oh, look, trying not to wobble. We're very high up here. Look, down there. It's Tommy, the bedtime turtle. Maybe he'll have some Easter eggs for Peter Cottontail, the Easter bunny. Let's jump down and ask politely. Ready? One, two, three. <coughs> Peter Cottontail asks very nicely. Oh, hello, Tommy. Please may we have some Easter eggs for Easter? 
Coming into our turtle position, we sit on our bottoms and bring our feet in front of us, bending our knees. We bring our hands down in between our legs and shuffle them underneath our legs, making a pair of turtle flippers. Tommy lifts his head out of his shell and gives us a great big smile. Hey, hey there. It's so good to see you. And seeing as you asked me so nicely and you said please, of course you can have some eggs for Easter. But I'm afraid I only have one. I seem to have lost all of the others. I don't know where they've gone. We come up to sit and cross our legs. Hmm, that is funny. Where on earth could the other Easter eggs be? We say namaste to thank Tommy. One, two, three. Three. Namaste. We come to a lake where there's a little boat waiting for us. Coming to sit round, lift up one leg, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Yay! Give me a wave. We're in our boat pose and with Peter Cottontail we row. Take your legs out long, take hold of an oar, and let's sing our row, row, row your boat song. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. Is that, that's a telephone. Shall we answer it? Okay, yeah. Hello. Oh, it's Belinda the hen. Hi, Belinda. What? All of the Easter eggs are gone? But, 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 but where? Oh, OK, Belinda, speak to you soon. Bye. We put the phone down. Where could they have gone? We need to keep rowing, so we pick up the other oar. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the phone again. Let's answer it. Hello. Oh, it's Belinda again. Hi, Belinda. Oh, we've got to speak to Colonel Crockles, the crocodile. OK, right. Thank you, Belinda. Bye. We put the phone down and we come face to face with a crocodile. This must be Colonel Crockles, the crocodile. Lying on your side, take your arms up long above your head and open and close your jaws like you're a snappy crocodile. And let's see if we can swish our tail as well. Oh, very good, everyone. I tell you, everyone, it's those tricksy, tickly monkeys. They've gone and stolen all the eggs and they're hiding them in the back of their cave. They simply don't want to share them with anyone. <gasps> Coming up to sit, we cross our legs. Oh, no! This is awful! If those tickly monkeys have stolen all the eggs, then there won't be any left for everyone at Easter. What are we going to do? We know what to do. We're going to take some deep breaths. We're going to calm our minds down and we're going to have an idea. Ready? <sighs> We've got it. We've hatched a plan to save the eggs. <gasps> Let's all pretend to be eggs. Then, when the tickly monkeys come, they'll think that we're eggs and they'll come and pick us up and add us to their collection. Then we can wait until they've gone to sleep and we can collect all the eggs and take them out. We can rescue them. This is a brilliant idea. Colonel Crockles agrees. Lying down on your other side now, stretch your arm up above your head and open your snappy jaws. And let's do some tail swishing on the other side too. Perfecto mundo, cosmic kiddos. Mm, thanks, Colonel Crockles. We sit on up and we get ready to go to the cave where the tickly monkeys are living with all of the eggs. On the way, we hear an owl twit to wooing to warn us. Coming to your knees, draw your hands down in between. We lift up as we go to it and lower as we go and again, do it, do. Be careful, there are tickly monkeys in there who like to tickle you. We say namaste to the owl to thank her. One, 
two, three, namaste. And we get ready to look like little, little eggs. Coming to your knees, we're going to be like little eggs that have fallen over in the grass, folding yourself all the way forwards. We wait for the tickly monkeys to come and find us. <gasps> Here they are, bringing your hands up, wiggle your fingers and pitter-patter on your backs. <gasps> the tickly monkeys are taking us and they're putting us in their cave with the other eggs, keeping very, very still. After a while, we hear a noise. It's the tickly monkeys. They've gone to sleep. Quick, get your basket. Coming onto your belly. Bring your feet to your bottom, reach around, and lift yourself up into your basket pose. Now, we collect all of the eggs and we get them out of the cave. Come on, everyone, standing up. Up we come. We tiptoe, tiptoe, shh, very quietly out of the cave. <gasps> What's that? Oh, it's all right. It's just a little spod, the spider. Bending your knees and bringing your fingers in between your feet, we go tika, 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 tika to the outside. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> we carry on tiptoeing out of the cave, coming up to stand. Tiptoe. Shh. 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 What's that? Oh, it's OK. It's just a little Cecil the slithery snake. Coming down onto your bellies, everyone. Hands under your shoulders and... Sorry about that. Didn't mean to disturb you. We carry on tiptoeing out of the cave. Up we come. Shh. 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 What's that? Oh, it's OK. It's just a little Meldrum the mouse coming down onto your knees and tuck yourself up into a tiny little mouse ball. Squeak, 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 squeak. We carry on tiptoeing. We're so nearly there. Up we come. Shh, 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 shh. And we've done it. Yay. We wipe our brows. Phew. But what's that? We can hear. Rubbing our ears. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's the tickly monkeys. They've woken up and they're jumping into action. Crouching down on your toes, everybody. We're going to do a big monkey jump into the air. After three. One, two, three. Woo! Ah, ah, ah. And again. One, two, three. Woo! Ah, ah, ah. Quick, we need to hide. Jump down the rabbit hole. Turning yourself around, hands down, tuck your toes, lift your bottoms up to the sky. This is a special rabbit hole, a rabbit warren. In we go on our bellies, slithering like snakes. Ooh, we're wiggling inside. And we hide like little mice, tucking all the way back with our arms and our head down. Shh. The tickly monkeys go running past. And we sit up and we say, Phew! That is a relief. Peter Cottontail, who is the Easter Bunny, remember, is actually quite magical. And he crosses his legs. He takes one of the Easter eggs and he turns it upside down. And when it's this shape, it looks a bit like a balloon. And he says some magic words. With Easter coming so very soon, let's turn this egg into a hot egg balloon. And it works! Let's blow it up, everyone. Bring your hands around your mouth and do a big blow. Wowza! 
says, look how big our balloons are. We're floating up into the sky above the woods, away from the tickly monkeys, and we're heading back towards our garden with Peter Cottontail and all of the Easter eggs. We say our rhyme, tick tock, like a clock, until I find my centre. We found our centre and we found ourselves back at home. Oh, we feel so exhausted and so does Peter Cottontail. So we very quietly and very gently all get into our beds with Peter Cottontail snuggling up. He lies on our bellies and we gently stroke his lovely fur. He feels so soft. We watch as his little eyes begin to close and his nose and his whiskers start to twitch as he is beginning to dream. Ah, oh, it's so good what we've done today. We feel really proud of ourselves, helping Peter Cottontail rescue all of those Easter eggs from the tickly monkeys who just didn't want to share them. They were being very greedy, wanting to keep the eggs all for themselves so that everyone else would miss out. This is why it's so good for us to share and why it's so good that we rescued the eggs. And we always know to say our pleases and our thank yous as well. Then everyone is happy and we know we've been good, good people. We breathe calmly and quietly here and enjoy our rest with our friend, Peter Cottontail, the Easter Bunny. And then it is time for us to start to awake. We wiggle our toes. We wiggle our fingers. And we bring our knees up to our chest and give them a nice big hug. We roll over onto our sides and come up to sit with our legs crossed. And we bring our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. You were very brave helping Peter Cottontail rescue those eggs. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Joining our thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Ooh, look at those shapes and the colours all spinning around. Oh, so pretty. Oh, can you see the picture? It's a rabbit. It's Rocky the rabbit. What's Rocky doing? She's doing yoga. She's doing extended hand to big toe pose. Oh, and who's that? It's Buttons the monkey trying to blow her down. Cheeky monkey. Oh, Rocky's doing great job there. She's staying so calm and steady. Lowering our hands, how exciting. A story about Rocky the rabbit and a cheeky monkey called Buttons. Coming up onto two knees, everybody. We take our leg to the side, our arm to the sky, and we open up the gate. She closes the gate behind her. Coming back to two knees, leg to the other side, arm to the sky, and closing the gate. But the garden? is looking a bit different. It's looking not how she left it. Hmm, coming to squat everyone, taking our knees wide and using our little rabbit paws for balance. Looking around, Rocky sees lots of empty candy wrappers. She picks one up. Huh. And lots of plastic bottles and banana skins. Hmm, lifting up our hands, coming to balance. Look, 
there's lots of them winding down the garden path, leading to a big pile at the bottom of the tree. Let's come up to stand, everyone, and do our tree pose. There, lounging lazily on the branch is none other than that cheeky monkey, Buttons. Let's lounge lazily, like Buttons is, coming to lie on our sides, everyone. Now we use our hand to support our heads and make our legs nice and long and use our other hand for support in front of us. Now in front of Buttons is a big pile of candies and sweeties. He uses his toes to pick up a candy, lifts it up, flicks it into his mouth and then he kicks the wrapper off onto the ground. <gasps> Buttons the monkey! Well, I never. So he makes a promise to always take his litter with him and not throw it away on the ground anymore. He wants this planet to stay beautiful, so he will do his bit to look after our wonderful world. Let's take a moment now to relax. Come to lie on our backs with our arms and legs nice and long. Ah, oh, we take a nice deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. Let's imagine that we're lying in Rocky's beautiful garden. Oh, we can hear the birds tweeting. Welcome back and let's get right into some lovely hellos and shout outs to you. First to Sanuli, who is eight and eight and a half very important, and in Melbourne. I love that you are enjoying the yoga and thank you so much for your ideas. 101 Dalmatians, Zootopia, Trolls World Tour, Bluey, such brilliant suggestions. Thanks so much, Sanuli. Hello to Myra, aged four, who is a fan of the Cosmic Kids YouTube channel. Hey, Myra, lovely to hear from you. And hello to Oliver, who is four, and Sophia, who is two. Oh yes, Oliver. I would love to do a Paw Patrol yoga for you. I am working on that. Thank you so much for writing in. And hello to Thea, who lives in Oxford in the UK and turned five a couple of months ago. Happy birthday, Thea. And thanks for the idea to do bluey yoga. I love it. A big hello to your little sister, Nell, too, who was only born a few months ago. I hope Nell is growing stronger by the day and will be home from the hospital very soon. Now, on to our next video. We are keeping our rabbity theme and bouncing like bunnies. I'll see you afterwards for some more hellos. everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Kids Yoga Disco. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, dancing and lots of fun. It's easy, just copy the moves that I do and enjoy the disco. This one's called Bunny Bounce, where we do our bunny hop move. Can you see the bunny bounce? Through the hedgerows and the fields Then he stops and lifts his nose Before kicking up his heels We can all be bunnies too If we crouch down on our toes Wobbly get set go Let's strike that bunny pose Now to bounce, bounce, bounce You put your hands down, down Then you hop up your feet Bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop beat. Do a little hop, do a big hop. Bounce up, one, two, three. Bounce, 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 bounce. Bunnies is all I see. Bounce like a bunny, hop like a bunny, bounce like a bunny, hop like a bunny. If you hop like a bunny, you can bounce like a bunny, you can hop till the day is done. Bunny hop beat. How we love to bounce all day. Skip and hop and jump and play. Bouncing. 
alone in the sun. Being bunnies is so much fun. That's the bunny bounce, the bunny bounce, the bunny bounce, the bunny bounce. If you hop like a bunny, you can bounce like a bunny, you can hop till the day is done. Bunny hop beat. Welcome back. So you know you can write to me at the special email I have, yoga club at cosmickids.com. I read all the messages and make sure to include them here in these shout outs. Just keep watching and yours will happen. Talking of shout outs, let's have a couple more before our next video. Hello to Milo and Theodore in New Hampshire. Lovely to hear that you enjoy your yoga in the mornings to get your day started. And hello to Eva from Erie, Pennsylvania in the US. That's a great idea to do Henry Danger. And I love that you love the cats and dogs episode so much. I love cats and dogs too. One more hello to Guyane in Brooklyn, who turned four on the 1st of Feb. I hope you had a wonderful, happy day and you had a Cosmic Kids party to celebrate. How cool is that? You are super special, Guyane, and I love that we do yoga together. Okay, on to our next video and some more yoga pose practice. I'll see you after for our final couple of shout outs. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Mouse pose. Coming down to kneel with your big toes to touch, taking your knees nice and wide to make some space. Now fold your body all the way forwards, letting your head rest on the floor, your arms down by your side. And let's have a little squeak, 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 like a little mouse. Ah, now the thing I love about mouse pose is that it soothes your mind and it lets your whole body feel lovely and relaxed. Let's just stay here for a while and enjoy a little rest. And if you stay here long enough, you may even grow some ears and a tail. <laughs> Mouse pose. Hello and welcome back. If you really, really, really love Cosmic Kids and you love doing your yoga, go and have a look at the Cosmic Kids app. There really is heaps more yoga and mindfulness on there, more than you will possibly find anywhere else in the whole wide world and more of your favourite things on there too that have been made into yoga stories. Go to app.cosmickids.com or find us on the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. Now, time for two final shout outs before we finish our wonderful spring flavoured yoga club. Hello to Acacia, who is 10 and lives in Portland, Oregon. I love that you do your cosmic kids every day after school and it helps you stay strong. Brilliant to have your ideas too, Acacia. Pete the cat. Barbies and where the wild things are. Amazing suggestions, thank you so much. And finally, hello to Matilda, who has two wonderful ideas for new yoga stories. Superworm, oh yes, and what the ladybird heard. Fabulous. I do have a worm story actually, so maybe this could happen. Thanks so much for all your wonderful messages. Enjoy the rest of your yoga club and I will see you next time. Bye! Peace.
Peace out. Fluffy Bunny Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Time to get ourselves comfortable. Find yourself some space where you can either lie down or sit with legs crossed. If you want, you can sit on a chair. If this is your choice, try to have both feet on the floor and rest your hands on your lap. Decide which position works best for you and get yourself settled. Hopefully now you feel comfortable enough to sit nice and still, or as still as you can manage, to give your body and mind some special relaxation time. If you prefer, keep your eyes open. Or if you want to make it even more of an adventure, you can close them. Now, see if you can notice your breathing coming in and going out. Can you feel the air as it goes in and out of your nose? If you're sitting or lying on your back, place a hand on your tummy. Maybe you can feel the air, filling it up like a balloon, and then emptying with each breath out, in and out, in and out. Next time, as you breathe out, if you haven't already, let your eyes softly close. Now you can enjoy letting your mind make the pictures for you, just like a dream. You're outside in a field. You walk along and can feel the grass tickling your ankles. All of a sudden, a little bunny rabbit appears in front of you. Hello, you. You crouch down to get closer, and much to your surprise, it hops up into your arms. You cradle the bunny rabbit and carefully stroke its soft, fluffy fur. It feels so silky and smooth. You look a little closer, noticing the light brown fur on its back and the pure white fur on its tummy. Its ears are long and silky smooth and its tail is a neat little fluffy ball. The bunny looks up at you with big brown eyes. It reaches up as if to smell you, its whiskers and nose twitching, tickling your cheek. This little fluffy bunny likes you and feels very happy having a cuddle in your arms. You feel very calm and relaxed here, stroking it gently. As you do, its eyes begin to close and it relaxes. It seems to be falling asleep. Looking around, you see two other bunnies have come along to watch you. These ones look a bit older and bigger. They're the little bunny's parents. You carefully place the little sleeping fluffy bunny down on the soft grass and move back calmly and quietly. The parents hop quietly over to their sleeping baby and snuggle up next to it. What a happy family of bunnies, you think. Seeing this makes you feel so happy and peaceful. 
you leave them to enjoy their family nap time and silently walk back through the field. It's time now to come back from your peace out and bring all that love and fluffy bunny warmth back to the here and now in your life. Take a nice deep breath and gently, slowly, wiggle your fingers and toes. Give yourself a nice stretch, maybe a yawn, and very gently open your eyes, slowly letting the world back in. Before you move, take a moment to notice how you feel. Different, maybe, to how you felt before your peace out. What a treat to meet such a fluffy baby bunny and have some cuddle time. I hope that feeling stays with you in your heart and you can take it with you into the rest of your day and night. Well done you for taking this special magic time for yourself. You are amazing at staying so calm and relaxed. I'll look forward to our next time together. Until then, this is Jamie saying peace out.